Now we have this treasure in clay jars so that there is extraordinary power may be from God and not from us. We are going to do it again and then close our Bible and then we will share but for you. Now we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that the surpassing power belongs to God and not to us. We will come you towards the word of God. Please don't be distracted. But see the people that are preaching to you. Shall we all? 
we will read when we read another scripture. You can take notes. We want to do it for a while and then pray a blessing for you. So that we remain with people that work for this church in different levels. We talked about this word on Tuesday. On Thursday, perhaps that's what they talked about also. We shall close today talking about this work. Uh, from Tuesday up to Sunday, we shall be talking about another set of teachings. After the time of prayer, people have been coming towards uh, the midweek services. We want to talk about two or three things that we pick out of this world. We want to talk about treasures that we have in jars of clay. On Tuesday, we talked about something. And I asked you, what are those jars of clay? Those are our own bodies. They are comparable with jars of clay. They are comparable with jars of clay. Our bodies are also comparable with a flower that dries up by the sun. Those are jars. We will also talk about the power of God that works through these jars of clay. We will also talk about the power of God that does great things. God wants that power to walk through these jars of clay. You know the power of God. He speaks and things are established for he is a God that is above any other God. He is the that power of God does not dwell in tangible things that you see that appear to be great, but He has willed that that power will dwell in you and me who have bodies that are like jars of clay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can ask yourself about that. Why does that power of the Almighty God Imana Yafash Butuns Kuko Ubutunzi to Vuga Ni Shambor Kimana ni Baragaziman Kashambor Kimana Bgabu Tumab Giza Chashuba Hirochimana Yama Futa Yimana Chagikuni Rochimana Jo Sidabizana Ibishira Murkwaja Rukwibumba Shobra Kumene Kumusi Kuundi. God got that treasure, the anointing, the word, the gospel, and all those treasures, he put them in the clay of the, the jars of clay that can break any time. Why do you contain the treasure of God? So that you may display the power of Almighty God. That is a simple explanation. So that you may display the power and the treasure that God has put in you. So that when people see the manifested power of God in you, 
they will praise and worship the Lord God Almighty. Let me just give you an example of the people that are giving thanks to God. They were not talking about their own glory, but the power of God that works and operates in these jars of clay. Ugende wishimye go rejoice wumve hari hari akandi gaciro gize karuta ako wumva gufite feel like you have another added value kuko imana mwijuru na Yesu na mwuka wera babonye kuko muri wowe ariho bagomba gushira ubutunzi bw'imana because god the father the son and the holy spirit have will that in you should be treasures of heaven the Bible says that where a man's treasure is, that's where his heart will be. And we raise our hands before God. Let me repeat what I'm saying. Know that you are a treasurable person because God got all his treasures and made them dwell within you. And you are comparable to the jars of clay that can break any time. Someone who we read in Psalms that says that who is a son of man that you have put your mind on him? Man is like a jar of clay that is so easily broken that we have such treasure in jars of clay hallelujah hallelujah it is beautiful when you display the gifts and the workings of God in you that pleases heaven because he is God that put all those treasures within you. People that know have that treasure lift up your hands. Let us give him a clap of clap of him. Uh, read the gospel according to John. Chapter 12 and verse 12. We want John chapter 14 and verse 12. So mama. John the gospel. 14 and verse 12. John chapter 14 and verse 12. Scripture that says, I and my father will come and dwell within you. John 14:23. Uh -huh. 
azitondera ijambo ryanjye na data azamukunda tuzaza aho ari kugumane nawe aho harufuze ngo haleluya ninde haleluya yahumvise eh aka kantu mwakumvise Uri umuntu uzakumva ntari nango dutere haleluya ibitabitumita vuba mu mutima is automatic when a person uh, gets a revelation of the world eh ngo umuntu nangunda azitondera ijambo ryanjye nada azitondera ijambo ryanjye nada ata azamukunda umva wo ni Yesu wabivugaga ngo tuzaza wari tugumane nawe nuko uvuga ngo Yesu nada ata nukundi imana cyane Yesu na data bazaza ngo bagire gute bagumane igifaransa haravuga ngo kudemera kudemera ni ki desire kudemera ni kuba ngo nokubana in other words if you love me i and my father will come and dwell with you no no muri zanza bya sibumba muri jewe nawe imana data na yesu bazahaguruka baze gukora ikica babane na ubabe muri wowe in those jars of clay when you love him god the father and the son will come and make a home within you hallelujah 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 umva umva gaciro imana iguha umva gaciro yesu aguha umva gaciro muka wera guha nuko gerera mwa nurwaza ni nurwaza cyangwa se ni kibindi cyameneka ariko ni witondera ijambo ry'Imana you are so treasurable before God before the Holy Spirit and before Jesus even when you are like a jar of clay haleluya 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 nuko usana huru munyantege nke even when you look weak kandi umuntu wese ni umunyantege nke mu rugo all people are weak Bibiri tugereranya na kantu kakarabo gakubitwa nizuba kagahunguka. We are like a, a flower that is hit by the sun and then dries. Ari kwimbaraga z'Imana n'ubutunzi bw'Imana Imana yabishize muri wowe. But God chose to he put his treasure and his power to dwell within him. Araho twasomye Paulo yanki aba Roma. And Paul writes the Romans. Araho ngo aba ngo abayuda batushiki. That what does the Jews have more than we do? Wicho baturusha ngo nuko babitse ibyavuzwe ni imana That one thing they have is they have kept what was kuvuga ngo ibyo turusha abandi bari kuri yisi What do we have more than the people that were Tubarusha babanga y'Imana tugenda na babanga y'Imana tugenda na connection y'Imana tubarusha ibyahishwa abanyabwenge isi tabasha kumenya ariko imana ikabibika muri nje ugerera ngo nakabindi kameneka We are better because in us we keep the the secrets and the treasures of wisdom even when we are like jars of clay hallelujah 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 icha turusha bandi what do we have more than nuko dusange imibiri even when we have the body nuko turara mu nzimwe even when we keep in the same nuko twagendera mu modokari even when we travel by the same way nuko twarwara kimwe even when we get sick ariko tubarusha by'Imana yavuze tuzibanga ry'Imana but we are better because we keep the secrets of God arumuntu watubwirije kuwa gatatu a person who preached to us on Wednesday yaratubwiye ngo azi ahazagwa that he knows the country where he will die God told him all the secrets about his life he knows where he will dwell he knows the country where he shall die for you to draw the secrets of God will depend upon the friendship we when you tarry with god god will give you secrets that other people will not have let us leave our hands before god hallelujah 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 we have great treasures yes aravuga ngo nukuri njewe na data tuzademera tuzimuka tuze kuba muri uru rwabya rugereranywa na nikibindi bizabya zoroche zabasha kumeneka vuba and Jesus say truly truly i and my father will come and dwell with you you who like the jars of clay 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Imani shimwe cyane. Praise the Lord. Let me talk about the treasure that we have. Because we have but little time. What kind of treasure do we have? Let me talk about the treasure that we have. Because we have but little time. What kind of treasure do we have? Let me talk about the treasure that we have. Because we have but little time. What kind of treasure do we have? Let me talk about the treasure that we have. Because we have but little time. What kind of treasure do we have? Let me talk about the treasure that we have. Because we have but little time. What kind of treasure do we have? Let me talk about the treasure that we have. We have the anointing that other people do. We have the glory of God. We have the anointing that other people do. We have the glory of God. We have the anointing that other people do. We have the glory of God. We have the anointing that other people do. We have the glory of God. We have the anointing that other people do. We have the glory of God. We have the anointing that other people do. We have the glory of God. We have the anointing that other people do. We have the glory of God. We have the anointing that other people do. We have the glory of God. We have the anointing that other people do. We have the glory of God. We have the anointing that other people do. We have the glory of God. We have the anointing that other people do. We have the glory of God. We have the anointing that other people do. We have the glory of God. We have the anointing that other people do. We have the glory of God. We have the anointing that other people do. We have the glory of God. We have the anointing that other people do. We have the glory of God. We have the anointing that other people do. We have the glory of God. We have the anointing that other people do. We have the glory of God. We have the anointing that other people do. We have the glory of God. We have the anointing that other people do. We have the glory of God. We have the anointing that other people do. We have the glory of God. We have the anointing that other people do. We have the glory of God. Yes, I am going to go to one another to the house of Kuba Muriwowe. And Jesus said, "I and my Father will come and go to one another." And we shall be with you forever. Let us look at that power. Let us look at that power. Samuel, you are better. First Samuel. What can we do, Mumba Bari? Second Samuel. Muntuzi kusoma vuba mirongo. Samuel, makumiya vidi na kambi di mirongo ni. Second Samuel chapter twenty-two and verse forty. Samuel, you are coming. Second Samuel. Who have been equipped with power? Who have been clothed with power? Who has been equipped with power? Who can answer? You made those who rise against me sink under me. Even when I appear to be weak, the power of God that operates within me. Let us again look in this book of Samuel. First Samuel. We are running very fast so that we conclude. Samuel. First Samuel. Kitabu cha mbele cha Samuel. First book of Samuel. Ibi cha chumi ni chenda. Chapter nineteen. Murongo wa ho, watu minu mnani. Kusoma tu fasi kusoma fasi. Verse eighteen. 
urakoze cyane thank you so much sauri Talk about Saul. You know him to be a king. He went with great armies. Many times they wanted to kill David. You know how he wanted to spear him, but it was not. And God became his shield. He went looking for him many times. But God protected him in a special way. Until David escaped unto Nioth. But the plan to destroy David had moved on. When it was reported that David had escaped at Nile, he sent a messenger to go and arrest him. When they got and they, when they reached there, they found a host of prophets prophesying. And Samuel also was there. And the Bible says the spirit of prophecy came to the people that had come to arrest David. And the spirit of the Lord came upon the servants and messengers. But for them to arrest David, they started prophesying. People that cannot be arrested in hell. I'm talking about the power of God. Talking about the treasures that have that There are many things that wanted to arrest him. But because in you dwells the treasures of when you are really truly connected with God, people have come to arrest them so that they may kill him. The messengers first message as they arrived at the place where the prophets were. They entered into the spirit of the city. They did nothing except of prophecy. Second messenger also came. They had so much power to arrest them. As they came by, they started prophesying. They could not arrest the servants because of the power of the Lord. They prophesied and prophesied. strong that have Jesus, the Holy Spirit and God the Father. Just read again that last verse. And Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah. 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 God met you he put his power in you. Even when you appear to be weak. But God knew that you are valuable. But it is you that should dwell in the power of God. That it is you that should keep the treasures of God. Please give him a hand clap offering. Thank you. Thank you. It is so that when children uh -huh. It is him, for him he went prophesying. Uh -huh. mm. Uh 
byari biguhagurukiye byiyambura ubusa byikubite hasi bitsindwe mu izina rya Yesu Whatever was rising against you may it be naked collapsed down and be subdued in the name of Jesus Byiyambura ubusa nuvuga ngo ntaco ndico Being naked it means I am nothing Ajanyu mujinya He is a man of anger The first people never rested. When they saw him they started prophesying. The report was given that he is but a strong person. No no hatreka njana abanyembaraga no no nanje ngende mwifatire neza. Let me take another set of strong people so that I may rest. Agitera intambwe ya mbere yinjiye mu nzira. But as he took the first step. Nabo bari bari kumwe bose. Together with the people that was with. mu mwuka wo guhanura. They entered in under the spirit of prophecy. Yinjira mu ndi mibatangira guhanura. They started speaking in tongues and prophesying. Umwami Sauli ngwageze yo yiyamburu mu mwambaro ngo ahanura umunsi wose arara hanura yiyambuye busa kuko yarahuye nahantu hari ubutunzi bw'Imana hari imbaraga z'Imana and as Saul arrived there he took off his cloth started prophesying naked day and night because he had gone to a place that was full of the power of God torero ry'Imana church of God twinjire mu mbaraga zo gusenga cyane let us attract the power of prayer umunyamasengesho nta muntu ufa kumufata you cannot just arrest a prayerful person Nuko dusenge period mwindi kindi gihe bikatuna. The reason is sometimes we pray but for a session. Ari kumunya masengesha senge gihe cyose. But a prayerful person prays all the time. nimbaraga z'Imana zimena guri zindi imbaraga. Go with the power above any other power. Imana yabikije ubutunzi mwigitangaza nimbaraga zayo muri wowe. God made you have treasures of might and miracles within you. So that nothing bad will come under you. Do you get the person that is strong? So the king was a man of might. But he took off his clothes, started prophesying day and night. He said, let us also include him among the prophets, even when he is a murderer. Let's again go to second Kings, as we conclude. We are limited by time because of the many activities. But we want to keep time. I know that you went with something. Yeah. Hallelujah. We are talking about the power of God that operate Imbaraga z'Imana zikorera muri izi zabya zibumba. The power of God that operate in the jazz of Uyu ni Elia muzi kandi mukunda mukunda kusoma makuru ya Elia. Elijah and you love his story. Elia yahanuriraga umwami Ahazia. He was prophesying towards King Ahazia. Yamuhanuriraga kuko agomba gupfa. He was prophesying that he will die. Uyu mwami Ahazia and this king Isaiah yibagiwe kuko imana ya Israeli yari imana ifite amabanga ari imana izi ibintu byose kandi bigaragaza mu bumana bwayo He forgot that the God of Israel was a great God that kept greater secrets Afata bagaragu be arabohereza kuza kumuraguriza kukigirwa amana cyitwa He took he took his servants and went to seek advice from idols at an idol called Ekron. And that pained the heart of Elijah. And he said, "Oh King Ahaziah, did you consider that idols would know your life whether to live or to die?" and forgotten the God almighty the God of Israel that created you you have forgotten that in Israel there is a God that answers prayer you have forgotten that is a God of Israel that enthroned you on the kingdom of your father and that pain the heart of king Ahaziah 
None ho ngo mwamahera ko amutumaho umutware utwara ingabo 50. And the king sent a captain of 50 to Elijah. Amutumana izo ngabo zimbaraga nyinshi. And his 50 army men. Arazamuka sanga ho yarari yicaye mu mpinga y'umusozi yari ari ho yari yicaye. And they found Elijah to be seated at the mountain. Aramubwa ati umuntu w'Imana umwama dutumyeho ngo manuke muje kuvugana. And they, they said, servant of God, the king has sent you so that we may come Elia and speak with you. And Elijah said, if I be Nimba a servant of God, if I be a servant of God, let fire come from heaven and burn you. The power of God that operates in jars of clay. In us there is fire. We have fire that can destroy the works of the enemy. They that have that fire clap unto our God. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! God got his treasures and his You are surrounded by the kind of power that doesn't matter. Because and because Elijah was full of the power of God. He said, let heaven know. He called upon fire that destroyed all the 50 men. The, 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 the king was not satisfied with that. He got another set of 50 armies. And they went to the mountain and found the land. said, the king is looking for you, come. Elijah had a strong zeal. Said, if I be a servant, let the fire of God come down on you. There are some things that you have to call fire on without But perhaps Isaiah the king had some wisdom better than the king that we have. So the third time he rose together with his soldiers to go and arrest David. But Isaiah the third time he did something different. He called for another set of soldiers. They went under the wisdom of God. Uh, when they reached there, they told Elijah that we know how fire burned the first set and the second set of soldiers. But for us, count our life precious and come with us to the king. That captain humbled himself before Elijah. What am I trying to say? They want you to know who you are. Bible says you are but a small God. Irrespective of the education that you have, irrespective of the family where you are born, irrespective of the place where you stay, irrespective of your size. Know that you are treasurable, even when you look like a jar. Imani shirubutu kuzi muda sana zwe muri wu. The renew dwells great treasure. Jar kabiri imani mukeje zimbaraga zai. In you are equipped the power of God. Uwe kuko kuru muri muda sana. Know that you are a special person. Uku kora na ni shirubios. You walk with the whole heaven. Imani ada kuzi na yesu na muka wera barasa. God has believed to stay together 
with the Holy Spirit and Jesus. So that whatever you stop you whatever you lose will be lost. Even when you are like I will because in you is God Almighty. Please receive the word of God. I thank you for in me is the dwelling of heaven. God the Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit. Please lift up your hands and repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, you are faithful, Lord. You are faithful. There is none like you. Even when I'm like a jar of clay, you dwell within me. I am. I have a great treasure. I have the most. I have you in me. I have the power that is above any other power. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for salvation. I thank you. And I glad the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen.